Hey guys, I'm Han, I'm a creative director and here are some tools and gadgets that I use every single day as a graphic designer, web designer, UI designer. These are tools and gadgets that I literally use every single day. There are obviously a whole bunch that I probably use every second or third day, but these ones are daily tools that I use. So let's start. The first one is probably pretty obvious, but it is my main machine. It's the 2021 16 inch MacBook Pro M1 Max chip laptop. Wow, that was a mouthful. <laughs> this thing is a beast of a machine, like, oh my goodness. Obviously I do a lot of hardcore design and I use pretty hectic, intense softwares and programs. And I do a lot of video editing. So that's why I end up getting the M1 Max chip. I got it with one terabyte of storage, 32 gigs of RAM, 24 GPU, and I think 10 CPU. Yeah, but honestly, amazing machine. And I got it in silver, because all of my Apple devices that I've ever had have been in silver except for my iPads. <laughs> so that is my main machine. My second machine, which was the machine that I had before that, is the 13 inch MacBook Pro. This is actually a mid 2012 version. So this thing was flipping old. Obviously I had a lot of work done to it. So I replaced the CD drive with a solid state drive. I upped the RAM, I replaced the battery, and I did one other change. I can't remember what it was, but this thing is, yeah, this is my second machine now that I've got the new machine. Okay, so gadget number two that I use every single day without fail is my iPad. So I actually, I have two iPads, but this is my main iPad. That's an illustration that I did on the front. <laughs> this is the 2021 iPad Pro 12.9 inch, and I can't remember how many gigs I got it in. Also, I don't know if you can see, it's not like super shiny because Paperlike, which is a like iPad screen cover company, they sent me some of their screen protectors as like a gift. And yeah, so I kind of use that on my iPad at the moment. And along with my iPad, I use the Apple Pencil second generation. So yeah. That's it. I like that it is magnetic though, so that's that's nice. <laughs> so this is my main iPad. Before that, I was using an iPad 6th generation. Oh, you can see here how shiny it is because this one doesn't have a screen protector on it. I was using the iPad 6th generation and the first gen Apple Pencil. Pretty much I just use this one for watching series now because I upgraded. And I was really bummed because I have the first gen Apple Pencil, but the problem with the new one is it's not compatible with the first generation. So I was really irritated when my new iPad arrived, I couldn't use it. Well, I literally just used my iPad to draw and to illustrate and I literally couldn't use it because this is not compatible with that. So then I had to order the new pencil and wait for it anyway. Anyway, that was very frustrating, but anyway, such is life. So that's the second thing that I literally use every single day. Number three is my mouse. I love this mouse. Oh my goodness, look at it. It is just gorgeous. This is the Logitech MX Master 3S for Mac. Oh my gosh, what is it with these things and these mouthful? Okay, so this thing is honestly the best. The battery life on this mouse is incredible. I also love that it has extra buttons on the side here, so I can do undo and redo. It's also got the side scroll wheel, and then it's also got the front wheel with like pretty much never ending scroll. Like how cool is this? It's scrolling. Just keep scrolling. It's amazing. And it's got another button here. And my favorite thing, as you can see here, it's got one, two, and three. So I can connect to three devices at once. I can connect it to my main machine, my second machine, and my iPad all at once. And I can go between them by literally just like clicking a button. It's incredible. And it's Bluetooth. So there's no cables and cords. I hate cables and cords. Hate cables and cords. Anyway, I think we're on the fourth thing now, but literally I use this every single day without fail. It's the Samsung T7 SSD. I got it in two terabytes and it's basically a portable external SSD. I do not keep any files and stuff on my actual machine. I completely work off of solid state drives because I don't want anything slowing down my machine. So I keep it very clear and I basically live off of these things. So this will always be plugged into my machine and then I'll save files to it. It's just so easy. It makes working so easy, finding files easy peasy. An SSD is more expensive than an external hard drive, but these are so much more reliable. They are like 10 times faster. It's just amazing. So yeah, if you ever want a good SSD, I recommend this one. I don't know if I said that I have the two terabyte one, but I have the two terabyte one. <laughs> Okay, so the fifth one is a complete necessity, and it's my mouse pad. This thing is old. I've had it since I was like, at varsity, it's crazy. Ollie, Ollie, stop it. Put that down. 
sorry, Oli is chewing his hot water bottle. It's really cold here at the moment, so Oli has his own hot water bottle, and yeah, he just loves to chew it. He lies on it and sits on it and then chews it, so don't do that. Anyway, I've literally had this thing for ages. I think I got it from Cotton On. It was on sale for like 20 Rand. This was when I was still in South Africa. So, mouse pad, very important. I do want to get a desk pad that will like cover my whole desk, but you know, technically there's nothing wrong with this one yet. So, maybe I'll get it like sometime down the line. But right now I don't need it, it's just something I want. Okay, the next thing is my Wacom tablet. Here it is, amazing. So I have the Intuos Pro, along with the stylus and then the pen holder. And then, I don't know if people know this, but you have all your external nibs that sit inside your pen holder. I've seen some people actually make videos where they you know, do what I just did and untwist it and show people. And people are just like mind blown because they didn't know that they had all the replacement nibs in there. So if you didn't know, now you know. I would not say that this is a necessity. This is a great replacement for a mouse. Obviously, if you don't want to use a mouse, using a tablet is amazing. I like using this for illustrating if I want to illustrate straight onto software, like onto Illustrator or into Photoshop directly, rather than illustrating on my iPad and then transferring files. So, yeah. But now on my iPad, I can literally just export it straight to a Photoshop file, or I can just illustrate on Illustrator on my iPad. So, anyway. Okay, so I've completely lost count of the gadgets, but the next one is my Anchor MagSafe charger. So it is a battery charger made by the brand Anchor, and I love that it's got this little flap. It's magnetic, and you can stick it like this. And let me, I'm gonna have to take this off to show you. This is not a MagSafe charger. But then basically, you just attach it like you would, and it's nice. So I can make a little stand. I hope I don't drop this. And it's standing up my phone. <laughs> So it works great. The only downside to this, I would say, is I've got the iPhone 14 Pro Max, and obviously it's a big phone, and this literally will only charge it like 70%. Obviously the battery on this is amazing, and it pretty much lasts forever, so 70% is amazing, but you know, it doesn't really give a full charge on my phone, which is fine. You just gotta keep charging this then. And it takes quite slow to charge my phone. I think on a smaller phone, it'll charge a lot faster. I pretty much use this in emergency situations, but anyway. The next one! This is the next one. These are my AirPod Pros. These things are so good. So, oh, they're just so beautiful. Love them. And I've got them in this really, really cute daisy case. Daisies are my favorite flowers, so that's why I got them. It's quite funny because every time my fiance uses them, he's got this like flower <laughs> covered case. <laughs> I think it's funny, but anyway. Yeah, love these, use them every day. I used to have over ear headphones, which were also so good, but these are so much easier to carry around. They're so small. They also have the noise cancellation, which is mm, chef's kiss, so good. Don't have anything else to say about these other than I love them. So another gadget, that I use every single day is this light. I love this light. I got it off Amazon. By the way, all of these products you'll be able to get on my Amazon storefront, which I've linked in the description. This thing was amazing. I think I got it for like 20 euros. It's got a clamp that literally just clamps to my desk and then it's like completely swiverable. Swiverable? <laughs> it can swivel in any direction and it's also got three different color temperatures. As you can see, it's got warm and then it's got, this is like a natural and then it's got the cool. So amazing, love it. It's nice for if I'm filming like stuff overhead, gives a great amount of light like this. And yeah, it moves like on this arm, that arm. So honestly, this thing has been amazing. Okay, now we move on to like less techy things, I think. Yeah, I think that's all the tech stuff. So next up is my blue light glasses. Honestly, when you are spending 12 to 16 hours a day in front of a screen, you need blue light glasses. Oh my gosh, these things have been game changing. I've been wearing these for, oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> uh, as you can see, the lens there has a blue tint. So these are what when I was in South Africa. I've had them for a couple of years. These have a really, really low prescription because my eyesight, thankfully, not bad at all. But then I asked them to put the blue light filter on, which is actually quite funny because the blue light filter cost more than like all the lenses and the frames and everything. These I've literally had since like my second year of university. They're purple. I probably need to clean them. But can you see? <laughs> I chose these purple frames, they're quite cute. These are, yeah, these things are so old, so 
Anyway, I just got the new lenses put into the old frame because I didn't see the point of buying a whole new frame if there was nothing wrong with it. So until these frames break, I'll probably just keep the same frame and just replace the lens. But yeah, blue night glasses are amazing. They help reduce the glare and I don't find myself squinting like this because often I'll sit there like squinting in front of my laptop at like 11 o'clock at night and I'm literally like got headaches and I'm like, why is my face like this? And then I put them on and I'm like, oh my gosh, I can relax my face muscles. So I highly suggest if you're going to be sitting in front of a computer for hours and hours definitely get blue light glasses they don't have to be expensive mine are just expensive because I got them from my eye doctor optometrist personally I prefer going to professional and just getting it sorted because I don't want to do any damage to my eyes so I would suggest going to an optometrist for it but yep highly suggest okay the next gadget obviously I'm an artist I'm a designer so you have to have a sketchbook it you just you have to so this is usually my go-to sketchbook it's the moleskin sketchbook I like it very much and I can do loads in it. I can have watercolor and pen or, you know, I can put pencil in it. So I've had this like going on for so long now. I mean, this, this, this thing has got so many things in it. <laughs> and you can literally just fill it up with drawings and paintings and sketches and brain farts and ideas and just creative everything just goes into the sketchbook. Honestly, I have like 12 sketchbooks that I'm currently working on at the moment, so yeah, I'm working on that, but as long as you have one with you at all times, it's good. Okay, so the next two kind of go hand in hand. I own one line book in my whole house and it's this one and my diary. <laughs> so this is like my daily planner diary that organizes my life and it's pretty much just full of to-do lists. And then this one is like if I have a meeting or anything like that, I've just jot down the notes. I used to use sketchbooks, but sketchbooks are obviously a lot more expensive than a lined notebook. So then I was like, okay, let me just use a lined notebook. But anyway, so yeah this is just for note taking for meetings this is for planning my life obviously just using an ordinary pen that's the other gadget and i think let me double check that i've got all of them because i wrote i wrote all of these gadgets down okay <laughs> airpods pro mouse pad did i say that twice maybe blue light glasses desk lamp oh there's two more okay one of them is on my phone which is this pop socket for years now i've had a pop socket on my phone i don't even remember the last time i didn't have a pop socket on my phone oh, i love that sound this thing is amazing i would strongly suggest getting one if you have little hands like me and it's difficult to hold your phone without getting like a cramp <laughs> so yeah i kind of use it it's nice it won't fall out my hands and it's yeah not gonna fall if i'm taking photos then it's like nice you know and yeah oh another thing is okay i don't know if you can see it oh you just get it in frame i can put my phone up like this like just um here we go like lean it up against things which is nice it's like a stand so yeah <laughs> um yeah so it's nice if i'm watching like youtube videos or something and i put my phone down it'll stay so that's very nice and the final piece is this over here, this like black thing that you can kind of see. It is a cord organizer that I got off Amazon. Honestly, amazing. Like I said, I hate cords, I hate cables, I hate loose things everywhere. So I literally just put up all of my cords and cables into my cord organizer, chargers, lamps, lights, things for my microphone, printer, whatever, go into the cord organizer and then all the cords are hidden. So strongly suggest. And I've got two bonus things as well. These are softwares and programs. They're not really like hard and gadgets but the first thing is obviously procreate on my ipad i use that every day that's my main drawing software i also use adobe illustrator which is vector based if i'm doing logo design or anything i'll do that on my machine so i won't do that on my ipad so my ipad is just used for drawing which is illustration which i use procreate for the second tool is notion again these are not sponsored nothing in here is sponsored by any of the people but notion is what i use for like organizing my life digitally and it's nice because i I can link it to every single one of my devices so I've got it on my machine my iPad and my cell phone I pretty much plan my life in notion content planning for my YouTube videos and my TikToks and for business stuff and personal stuff and finances and just pretty much everything goes into my notion so strongly suggest notion if you need help organizing your life a bit notions a great option and I think think that is everything now obviously as i said in the beginning these are things that i use practically every single day yeah there are things like my lighting my microphones my printer 
Obviously all of those I use very regularly, but these are things that I use most regularly. I also just want to reiterate that, you know, you don't need to have a ton of gadgets and tools and stuff to be a great designer. Obviously it helps with productivity a lot, but yeah, none of these are necessarily necessary. Okay, obviously for me, probably the most necessary things is my machine, my mouse, and my iPad, and my Apple Pencil, because those are like, I need those. <laughs> anyway, I hope that this was somewhat insightful for anyone that's looking for stuff to improve their daily habits. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end. Yeah, have a great day wherever you are in the world and I'll see you soon. Bye!